Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Patriots going up against the Eagles. Well, Larry, we'll have to go a long way to match the excitement from Houston last year, but this crowd is ready to give it a shot as we welcome you into our EA Sports telecast of Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down at this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. It was the AFL-NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold. And think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today. And with the whole world watching at the end of this game, at the end of tonight, one of these two sides, they get to etch their name in NFL immortality. No doubt about it. They hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league, the Lombardi Trophy. The eyes of the world upon us tonight as Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Well, with a win over Tennessee, it was another record for Tom Brady who takes the field with the rest of that Pats offense. Brady now the oldest to both start and win a playoff game, breaking the mark set by Brett Favre a few years back. I mean, we can go all day with different records that he has set. How about this one? 251 passes in his last five playoff games, the most by any quarterback over a five-game span. How about that? And playing in his 36th postseason game ever, and now he'll look forward to number 37, and I'm sure he has an eye on 38 as well. How about that? 36 postseason games? Yeah. The equivalent of two full NFL seasons plus playoffs? <laughs> Unbelievable. Now a former fifth-round pick of the Eagles. This is Deion Lewis. And, oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They go play action here on first down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, 
You know, he say follow it away, lad. Follow it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, just depending on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he was usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Yeah. They'll run it now out of the gun. Room here to run. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. A play fake for Burkhead. Now Brady. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. As the offensive striders pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. Three yards left to grab here on third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Right back for Allen. This time he finds him complete. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So first possession, fourth and short. Field goal's no gimme from here. You think about going for it? I'm not just thinking about it. I'm signaling, go for it. Let's get this, okay. all right? Yeah, look, you're right. You know, the field goal's there, but it's not a chip shot. My big thing is opening drive. You're trying to establish momentum. Let's not stall it ourselves. Let's go get this first down and then continue on downfield and try and get a touchdown. Thank your confidence. Yeah, why not? Let's go. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. It does especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down following the run. They run again with a J. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So it'll be first down here after the run. a giant. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. A 
Eight yards to go here on second down. Now the longtime Patriot. It's LeGarrette Blunt. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Again, here's Blunt. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. It's a Jay. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yep. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. This will be from 49 yards out. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So it's an empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently neither guy is immune. Well, earlier we mentioned Tom Brady being the oldest quarterback to start and win a playoff game as Patriots offense works their way back onto the field, Charles. It's now, for them collectively, seven straight AFC championship appearances. That's absolutely off the charts amazing in this era of parity in the NFL because you're not supposed to be a super team, right? You're not supposed to be a juggernaut. Seven straight AFC championship game appearances, phenomenal. And the Jags playing in their first since 1999. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. But when it comes to the running game, the New England Patriots, they're one of the few teams in the NFL that I don't think care much about balancing things <laughs> out. Last year, to your point, fifth in passing yardage, number 30 in the run game. What they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent, not so much their own personnel, and they try to attack that way. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. Brady to throw on second down. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Call it a three-yard gain, and just like that, it's third down. Starting lineup here for the Eagles on defense. A crew, Charles, at all season, including the playoffs, has not allowed a point in the final two minutes of a game. Really? Yeah. Because that was really put to the test by Atlanta. It was. I mean, they had their shots, didn't they? Inside the 10, first down to 10, first and goal, I guess is what it was. And how about that last pass in the end zone to Julio Jones? 
Did you really truly expect him to come up with the ball? Because I did. You did. I did. And I felt like it was Philly's magic. They, they believed they were underdogs and they believed they could do it. And they did. I think what would have been really interesting, if he caught it, would he have come down inbounds with mm -hmm. the ball? There was a lot going on on that last play. Philadelphia made the whole thing stand up. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That'll allow him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now before this next series gets going here offensively, what about that Saints-Vikings game? There's so many different ways we can go and so many comments we can start with, but I hope you don't mind me starting with this one. Never in the history of the NFL, all right, did we ever think that Drew Brees could lead a team that scores and leaves just 29 seconds on the clock and he left too much time for Case Keenum. For Case Keenum. Think about that. Yeah. All and right? it, just the end of that game, you know, we say it all the time, but you, you live for those moments. Now, you also got to remember, for the Saints, and we're, we're thinking about the Vikings, for the Saints, what heartbreak. Heartbreak for Marcus Williams, especially the safety. People are going to identify yeah. him as the key. But there's one thing to keep in mind. Kyle Rudolph, the tight end for the Vikings, ran about a seven-yard route, and someone from the Saints defense jumped him and actually weakened the back end of that defense and left it in a two-on-two -two situation, and the Vikings took advantage of it. One we'll be talking about for years. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter.
So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll try to run with a J. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles, to open the scoring in Super Bowl 52. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. And we have seen the first touchdown to Super Bowl 52. The first 51 Super Bowls, a team that scored first, they won 34 times out of 51. So two-thirds of the time, but just gaining that momentum's got to be huge in this game. It's massive, and that's what everyone's looking for. The first big break of a game, the first advantage of the game, and that, too, that tends to carry a team, right? Most of the time, you're able to sail on that for a while, and that's what you're looking for. The first touchdown, you feel like you're in great shape. Elliott now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. First down is Brady. Going underneath for Lewis. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it a second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, and hit them over the top. Third down. That's Lewis. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He lost two, and it brings up four. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Here's Ryan Allen now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Here comes the pressure, and the Eagles get there to block it. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Partners, you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now out come the Patriots. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. They try again with Lewis. They find some open field here. Nice move by Lewis. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And now a first down following that long game. So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. 14-0 is our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. second down with the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today they've got to think about changing up their play calling some screens some draws some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game you don't totally abandon it but you try and give it a little bit of help on play action it's Brady Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is going to be third and 13. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk. Their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Hey, 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 hey. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window, and they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Now Brady throwing on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And that takes us from second to third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. <laughs> Throwing is Brady on third down. Complete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So a good kick that time, and he's able to redeem himself from the previous miss. And fortunately for him, he got the chance to do that not long after missing the first time. Sometimes a whole game goes by, and you don't get that chance at all. So you keep it with you till the next time you take the field. Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The D for the Pats. The Patriots heading back onto the field now. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that blocking sled. You took it down. <laughs> Bounced off like a rubber band. No, no, not at all. But you're exactly right. They are doing their job but they want to add takeaways to it. You need to have more of those to go along with the big hits we're seeing. By the way, when I tried that and I bounced back, I noticed that you laughed with everyone else. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't try to get in my corner. No, no, no. Someone had just told me a joke on the other yeah, side. Right, I missed right. that. Totally missed it. Play fake. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, Charles, looking at the AFC and NFC Championship games quarterback position, you got Tom Brady, but then you got Foles, Keenum, and Bortles. I don't know that anybody saw that quartet coming. I don't think that they saw that quartet coming, right? I mean, everyone saw Brady, but the other trio, no one saw that one at all. So we did ask our man Marvin to dig up a stat for us. So, Marvin, what about the other three not named Brady? 
What has it been like for them recently? Yes. What did he tell us? So three years prior, 2014 to 2016, Foles, Keenum, and Bortles each ranked in the bottom five of the league in lowest passer rating among QBs with 15 total starts or more. Foles the lowest, Keenum third worst, and Bortles fifth. But here they are. They're in the final four. Statistics don't matter when you win games. Here's Foles. A strong running. <laughs> and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 12 yards there as they move the chains. shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. See the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still first down. Down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. fake. They'll look to throw. And it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's brought down after a good game. And a nice gain of 21 yards. 
And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. down surprised that wasn't a run I am and you know I'm old school I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it time on the completion and it'll be third down well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage and before he could even think about advancing it forward he got hit great tackling because that's what you're taught don't give up yards after the catch and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field really nice open field tackle half when you can hit pay dirt twice and it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on just think about halftime if, if that's is all he gets he'll just sit there at the half and think all right two already i can get some more i can get some more and he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space and it's 21 to 3 A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown run by Jay Ajayi. now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start the drive from the 25. All right, let's discuss Deion Lewis as he gets set to go again. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. By 20, by 20, reset, reset They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back at the 28. A gain of three, second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Again, it's Lewis. 
He finds an opening past the 40. Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again and, <laughs> and again, again, and again and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Now, Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Koski now out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. A chance for us now to discuss Jay Ajayi. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. They'll start out on the ground with a J. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. Really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. him for a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Reception good for seven. It's third down. Hey, 
The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now back to throw. And some room to work. And avoids the contact by sliding. Give him nine on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. And tough starting field position here. This is Lewis, and he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. They run. This is Lewis. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Super Bowl 52 after this. A reminder, coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Ryan Allen now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Slips past him. Where'd he go? 
And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now LeGarrette Blunt gets set to go again on offense. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They set up the screen to Ajayi. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Back to throw here. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. They'll set up to throw. And this one complete to Smith. 
And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. 23 yards on the play. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. He'll look to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And Elliott puts this one through. And that will get the lead up to 14. So a miss on his first attempt, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. I know this will surprise you a little bit, Brandon, but you know kickers can be a fragile breed sometimes. You got to wonder what's going through his mind, but he didn't let that first miss impact him one bit. Hey, I kicked back at Harrison High School. Are you calling my ilk soft? to the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. This one up to the 26. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports halftime report. The Eagles are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Patriots didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Now first and 10, Nick Foles would find his mark in coverage, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 13-yard line. Continuing on the drive, Ajaye is gonna take it up the middle, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. That takes the lead up to seven. Eagles on offense midway through the second. They'll run it here with Jay Ajayi, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The Eagles go up by 18. Patriots is on second and seven. Lewis has got fantastic blocking up front, and he'll take this all the way for a touchdown. All right, Larry, these two teams back out there as we get set and ready for this second half.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is it, I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Charles, with that incompletion, I wanted to discuss the charitable efforts that team fan bases are putting forward right now. What about what we've seen these last couple of weeks? It's been something, hasn't it? Because it started really with the Buffalo Bills fans. Because, remember, they had been to the playoffs in nearly 20 years. And they got in because of the touchdown pass Andy Dalton threw of the Bengals. So they donated over $300,000 to Andy Dalton. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. And a great spot to start this drive from here. So after the INT, it's Brady. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. Now they'll run with Lewis. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. New England on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third down and 12. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So 
so it's a rare two-miss ball game for him now. Normally one of the more dependable guys you're going to find around. Very unlike him. One of the better kickers in the NFL. And I don't think there's anything wrong with him physically or mechanically. He's just having one of those games. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle to Smith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll look to throw now on first down. Drops it off to Ajayi. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. This is a giant. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. now out of the gun and he's going to get this inside the 30 a nice pick up there 10 yards and it'll move the sticks they're trying to show that they can run the ball protect this lead give it to the backs play a little bit of keep away don't you think and that's probably a good philosophy at this point going to make that defense stand up and stop them So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll run again with Blunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now out of the gun. He lost two there, and it's third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it in every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Foles. The open man is Smith. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Torrey Smith, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles had six to their lead.
Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being you know, on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Elliott now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Deion Lewis getting set to go again here with his guys on offense. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you're doing across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case, First and ten, here's Brady. Got a man complete, it's Chris Hogan. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks, because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now a handoff as they run left side. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. But well, we stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. New England on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Brady. It's caught out right, Amendola. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. And that one hit.
gets a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a look at Torrey Smith as he comes back out onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. You makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Here's Foles. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Smith. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Offense lining up first and ten. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some space here. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now Foles. Hurts over the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Ten yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities and this is one way work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Wiggles free. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Hey, 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. So the offense looking at a second and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. New England on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. Here it's third and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So it'll be first down here after the run. Throwing on first down is Brady. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking to find some space for Deion Lewis there. And that'll bring up second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Second down following the incompletion. To throw again, Brady. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. One quarter remains in Super Bowl 52. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. New England on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 17. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's letting it fly for Cooks. This is caught inside the 15. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Brandon Cooks, 56 yards. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Back man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. The point after try for Goskowski. And the lead will be cut down to 14. That 
time a six play drive and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Lawrence Guy in there to get him for a loss of five. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and 15. They'll drop the throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Here's Donnie Jones now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. First down, Brady sets up the screen to Lewis. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Three. 
Brady to throw on second down. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The reception good for seven. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. New England on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Brady. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They'll begin the drive with a giant. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. Try to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped 10 yards, first down. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is my theme of Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. On first down, he'll drop to throw. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll run it now out of the gun, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Brandon, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Eagles on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. That's taken on the 25. 
We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. The numbers tell the story. Not the best start. But it's not often how you start, it's how you finish. And since that start, he's been good. Can you just imagine what was going on in the locker room with the defensive coordinator? Because things were working so well. His game plan was in effect. They were holding him down. He was off his game. But you just know that he was nervous at halftime because you don't hold a guy like that down for very long. And in this case, his fears were realized. Neutral zone infraction. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Brady now on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. down his throw incomplete Brandon Cooks the receiver he was going after that'll bring up second down well too much oomph too much mustard there on that pass yeah really turned it loose didn't he really cut loose with that one sharp strong didn't lead to a completion though made it very difficult Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. And he's got it. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him. But he gets it all the way down to the one. 23 yards on the play. Defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Deion Lewis, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. 
first and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything, just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Goskowski for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. So the offense has it first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down following the run. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. That's going to set them back five yards. Still second down. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. 
looking to throw. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Eight yards there on a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So here we go. First and ten now. They'll run it now out of the gun. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. They'll look to throw. He finds Ajayi. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it again is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. down and 10 now for the offensive group. He'll look to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is, first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Two minutes to go here in Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Right, 
The Eagles on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and 14. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, what a move. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now, and they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Brady. Dumps it off to Lewis. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Now the short yardage man, Burkham. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that may write a finish to this Super Bowl. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead. Barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it doesn't mean now you go out and run option or some kind of wild double reverse or anything like that. But you do know that if anything does go haywire, you're still in control of this game. I want a double reverse, don't you? 
<laughs> I'm just waiting for that day where we actually see something like that in this situation. We'll, we'll see what happens here. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third down and twelve. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.